there are ways for you to make your fishes very very active not as waste what really happened is that once the glucose in your water breaks it, it affects the uh, tenacity the energy of your water too as well this palm oil this uh, oil to help in boosting the glucose of your water too as well it boosts the good sort on the feet it boosts the glucose in the water so it makes them it energizes them it makes them feel at least very very happy as well this works as if you are using a, a non idolized uh, salt i will take you through uh, the other part of uh, of this great video which uh, uh, I'll be talking more on the effects and I will take it to you as a tutorial that means I will try to break it down uh, for you guys and uh, so that you can you can really see the effect of uh, this to your physics too as well so and uh, so for us that uh, before we put this uh, uh, magic uh, oil into this pond, I can see you can see the way they have before, and compare it to the response that you can see now. You can see the way they are responding. So that means there are some things that you need to check. I told you earlier that if you want to have a very good seed, your seed must be eating, must be very very active. There are ways for you to make your fishes very very active. Not as ways. What really happens is that once the glucose in your water breaks it, it affects the uh, tenacity, the energy of your water too as well. This palm oil, this uh, oil to help in boosting the glucose of your water too as well. It boosts the glucose on the feet, it boosts the glucose in the water. So it makes them, it energizes them, it makes them feel at least very very happy as well this works as if you are using a, a non idolized uh, salt the non idolized that means the normal table salt we use for treating our fishes so by the time you mix that salt too as well and you put it inside uh, your you pu put it inside your pond you can see the way they do that is the same way this really does as you can see this is what we use in order to make sure that we do the balancing of our water. What really happened is that many people have been having it, many people have been using it, but this is what is practical. This is what I'm using with some other things too as well. So I concord it. That's why I told you calcium chloride can be involved. All those things are involved. So to make you, to give you a perfect result to energize, to make sure that your fishes are doing very very good so you can see that they are waiting for fish so later i will feed them so before i go uh, today i will try to introduce what we call uh, the automatic uh, uh, this is what we call the automatic feeder uh, this feeder is used for those people that I, there are two feeders uh, there are two feeders about three feeders but uh, i will still show you a feeder that works with your infrared your bluetooth there's one that works with your application your phone application that means if you are an asha uh, or you don't come to the farm regularly maybe your farm is far from uh, your house is far from the farm and you need to feed your fishes or you have an engagement in the office you have a meeting to do in the office or a very very taxing work that you do to the office you don't need to be scared enough that your fishes will not eat there's this uh, feeder that we introduce to you next with that you have the application on your phone the application will be on your phone you will control it on your phone you will time it on your phone to feed your fishes for you Pro provided you have stored the in an enough food that the container can take for your um, for your seedlings so with this you can just be feeding your fishes this is not is a mini one it's not for the grow out uh, uh, farmer this is made from fryers to fingerlings, to juvenile, to women, those people are the one that can use this kind of feeders. So what you do is that you place the feeder. Once you place the feeder, you set it on your phone to give your fishes. It sprinkled and your fishes eat it. It's 
So that means prevention is better than cure. But this is a just a mini automatic feeder. As you can see, it's a mini automatic feeder. So what this does is that you get your uh, your crumbles. This is my feed. So once you get your crumbles, for this acrylic, these crumbles are given to uh, post fries. Fryers, they are for fryers. You put your crumbles inside, that means it's loaded. Once your crumbles are loaded inside, these are bigger, they are bigger to eat it. So I'm just setting an example for you. So once your crumbles is loaded, so the next thing you do is that you can key it because this can stay inside the water and at the surface of the water. So what you just do is that once it is keyed, you can pee it, you can key it to your pumps. It can be keyed to your pump. It can be key to your pond and you put the feeder into it. So by the time you put the feeder into it, they will come into it, especially those of us that are feeding with uh, what we call the Davians. If you are feeding with shrimps, Davians. So by the time you put it to your feeder, this will soak a little water into your feeders and the fishes, the, the feed will be dropping on a gradual space. It will be dropping and they will be you can see and as it is dropping they will go there and be eating it i told you these are not meant for this particular size of fishes these are meant for small small fishes the infant seedings that means uh, the the fryers what we call the fryers the fishes of uh, uh, a day hold to like uh, uh, three weeks Yes, to like three, two to three weeks. That's what this one is meant for. But the one that are made for bigger fishes, I will show you how it works too as well. So this is just an example of this. And as you can see, they will be feeding it until they finish the feed that is coming out uh, dropping. But but you know, before they can be uh, a little bit acclimatized to a new system, it must be there for a particular time to notice that that's where their source of feed is coming from. Or like before that we put their feeding, we spread their feeding on them. Or you spot feed, you spread, you semi-source feed, you cross-source feed, any kind of pond you are using, a system you are using. So with this, just for them to get acclimatized to what they are doing. So once again, uh, we tell you that make sure that you have this, uh, the uh, implementation and the uh, application yeah, you have been told and as you can see the surface of the water that their fishes are really doing great and they are really doing good at present so before i go make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel it's very very important for you to uh, subscribe to it now and make sure that you press on the notification button what the notification button does is that the notification button tells you when i release new videos on this channel so you can be the one not to miss some of the informations maybe you are having a challenge in your farm and uh, that challenge is what I really want to talk about, so you can be the first, at least one of the first, to uh, receive that lecture. Make sure that you like and share, tell your friends and like ones to join. And you can also join me on my Facebook, Cartridge uh, Solution Academy. Uh, that, means, okay, that is our Facebook page. In that page, we release most of uh, informations too as well. And if you have not uh, joined my free WhatsApp group where we do free trainings for people, the WhatsApp group is free of charge. We don't charge. We do trainings. We answer questions. We answer challenges. And But you know, if you are under my mentorship, you are separated. That means if you are under my mentorship, I do video calls for you to solve your challenges. I make sure that anytime you call me, I pick your call. Anytime you are having challenges, I am there for you 24-7. And if you are not on my mentorship list, I can only assist you on one or two things. But if it's going deeper, I may not have time for that because I may be busy on my own job too and you are calling me since I will tell, just tell you to wait for the free training that I do on my WhatsApp to enjoy it. I may make, I may make that your challenges a training so that you can solve your problem but if you are under my mentorship scheme anytime you call me I respond to you. Anything you need I respond to you. I give you a prompt response which I do a lot of people uh, into the mentorship scheme too as well so as well as I appreciate those people that trust in me, that uh, 
made me their mentor. So thank you so much. And uh, make sure that you get any of my products too as well. As I told you, more researches are coming out. More products are coming out on a daily basis. So I say get this. This is uh, this is the pH and the chlorine kit. And this comes with uh, the uh, the test tube. Uh, there's one we know the test tube before, but now we have the test tube for it. So this is it with the test tube. Before there's no test tube, now we have the test tube for it. Make sure that you get that too as well. It is very, very important, most especially at this time, at this period. Make sure you get it. Check the uh, pH of your water. If you are in an environment that you are not the one that have your borehole, you are using borehole from other source, make sure that you change the chlorine. Uh, maybe the water is being treated with chlorine, or you are using a pipe on water. That means water from, uh, from the tap. From the government make sure that you check maybe the chlorine content is inside so that you can dissolve the chlorine so that it will not affect your fishes and i told you too about our natalite kit and nitrate kit which uh, i will do the application for you maybe tomorrow on how to use it so if you want any of it make sure that you order for it too as well and i told you uh, as you can see the water is seven so the water is very very good uh, we we use all what we use to make our treatment and uh, giving us a very very good result so this is a perfect result but if i don't have this so uh, sometimes i look at it that why we will be having a stock of nothing less than 500,000 600,000 right, that you can sell and you can't get yourself a test kit it looks somehow to me to me the money i made i use on research on a daily basis alone is on countless i look i use a lot of money so that is why I make sure that I try to get some little money to run my research so that I can work on it. But and I told you something before I should release any research on this channel. I make sure that I used it. After using it, it works for me before I give it to you guys out there. And I told you about what we call our water purifier. For those of you that have not have it, you can as well contact me and it will be, it will be sent uh, to you. you as well. So, and I told you what the water purifiers uh, do to you, our water too as well. So, so make sure that you have a copy of these two. And make sure that you go back, watch the video, and implement what I told you about the red dot. Once again, my name is Tumembi Orotola Detail, I'm from Catfish Solution Place Academy, where I give you in-depth information about catfish farming on the general. So, you can see that the... The number of what I put here have been a little bit consumed because they've been adapted to it. So they are coming there at least to take a bite of the feed. So this is most especially, I told you, if you are giving your uh, fishing streams, if you are giving them something we call the Davians, so make sure that you uh, load it here like a shilo, like your, this is your shilo, and introduce it to your uh, to your incubator depend on how big your incubator is if you have an incubator that is bigger like this you can put like five of it five of it it's not that expensive you can put five of it introduce it i told you small feed 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 1 point 0 0.1 mm -hmm. those are the feed that this uh, feeder can take that means newly hatched uh, fishes these are what they can take. They can take up to 0 0.2 uh, of copens. So make sure that, or if I told you if you are using damp dampiers or shrimps, so you can have about five or feet into this tank and load it. Once you load it, you are free to go. So once you're free to go, anytime you come back, your fish's belly are hitting. Their digestive gland is working perfectly for them. And I don't forget, I told you what uh the oil does too as well that it works on their respiratory system so it was very very good for them too as well so make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel now and god bless you as you watch.